Good freaking morning, boys and girls. Where have you found me this morning? Where we start the vlog, yes? Outside one of my favourite stores. Freaking screw fix. We are always in freaking screw fix. So this morning I've picked up a trolley jack and a couple of other pieces to enable me to do a little bit of work on the car. So when we picked the vehicle up from Craig, or when he dropped it off at the brewery, I realised that uh, there were a couple of warning lights on there, tyre pressure sensor and a ABS light. So I want to start working a little bit more on the van, Gemma's car and this car. So I've shot up to screw fix and we've got a trolley jack, some axle stands. And on a side note, whilst I was up here, I bumped into an old friend of mine, Daz. Turns out he's got a YouTube channel, so I'll pop a link down in the description if you want to mosey over there and have a look what he's doing. Uh, I'm sure you'd help him out with a sub or two. But yeah, he's uh, it's a fishing channel and he breeds roller pigeons. I've never heard of them before, but it's something new and something interesting. Go and check it out. So I'm going to fire up the engine, shoot back to the brewery where Jack the Lad should hopefully be tidying the place up for us. So I've come back to the unit, we've got the car up on the axle stands and the brake pads look fine, there's a good 7 or 8 mil on, of pad on both discs <clears throat> but I have figured out what's causing the juddering on braking so when you take off a caliper, a brake disc should I say to uh, replace it. There's generally a couple of screws in there that hold it on and then uh, also the caliper holds it on to an extent. Well, this particular vehicle it's just the caliper holding it on. So if I kind of show you this and brighten up the shot just a touch then you can see that we've got a bit of play and these two studs completely broken off, gone. So it's just the caliper holding all this brake disc on now. So what I'm gonna do is remove the caliper and, or if I can do it without removing the caliper, I will, but I need to extract these two studs. So I'm gonna have to drill them and uh, put the old reverse thread jobby in there to try and, try and pull them out. Not a job I wanna do, but if I wanna get rid of that, it's something I'm going to have to do. So quite miraculously, I've managed to extract these studs by using this uh, stud extractor. And here you will see the stud of the bolt. Uh, I've checked them and they are M6. So what I've done to make sure that this is still good is run an M6 tap through the hole to make sure that the threads are clever. So at the minute, that's what we had when we're driving around. So now, if I put these M6 by 20 machine screws in there, one in the top, one in the bottom, I've managed to do both of these holes, then that should now cure any wobble and I didn't have to take the caliper off after all. I'm going to go across and do the same to the other side now and then we'll check the back wheels as well. There's something else that I've also done. I've swapped out the locking wheel nut for one of these because it looked like the mechanism inside the locking wheel nut device was beginning to break into pieces. So I just thought we'll put an original nut back on because if that locks up, breaks, and I can't get a wheel off, it's good night, Vienna. So if I bring you around to the front of the hub, you should be able to see we've got exactly the same thing this side. Just the studs stuck into or sheared off of the bolts or machine screws, whatever they were. So I'm going to do exactly the same process, but time lapse this, see how long it actually takes me to get these bad boys out. 
There we go, two holes drilled and two machine screws replaced and re-tapped in what was, let's have a look, 15 minutes, that's not bad. So something revolutionary has just occurred to me in relation to the, s the machine screws missing out of here. So whilst I've done the right thing by replacing them, I've just realised that once you clamp the nut on, the nut is going to hold the caliper on anyway. So they aren't essential. They just hold it on for maintenance, I guess. So we must have something else at the front, because this is the rear, giving us that little bit of play. Any ideas? So that's the car kind of serviced. I think I still need to revisit it. But while we're working on the vehicles, I brought the van in. I'm gonna quickly hit up a few patches of rust, put some cure rust on it. That's this stuff from Hammerite. And then we're gonna go over with some white stone chip paint and maybe a bit of lacquer if we've got time. But this'll just help prevent any of this rust on the sills getting any worse. We've got a kneeling pad around there, Jack. I'm gonna chuck us it down here, bud. Get us a jug, Jack, with, or a bucket with some, a jug with some water and a sponge, mate. Yeah. He's, uh, <coughs> he's missed out for this fucking sill. So you'll be able to see behind me now that we've got like white polka dots on the top of the van, just up there. So actually you can't tell, not on this little screen at the side of the camera anyway. But we've put some cure rust on there and then some stone chip paint, some white paint. I'm hoping that'll stop any rust from spreading. Certainly made it look a little bit better, although the white isn't the exact same white as the Ford Transit white. But I think once it's dried, it's gonna be damn close. And quite frankly, it's a work van, I don't care, as long as it prevents that rust from spreading. So, uh, as I said yesterday, today is line cleaning day. Oh, unfortunately, all of this tackle's gone off nice and solid. It actually looks all right now, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Now it's all cured. Well, this is the bit I was worried about, but... It'll stop weeds. I didn't do this properly, by the way, but it'll just stop the weeds coming through if there it's are any. It's a nerve guard work of art, this is. <laughs> it is, yeah. You've got yourself a nerve guard. It's, for, it's uh, a mosaic after the hops that we use in the vacant gesture, you know? Back north, though. Is it? That's all right, we'll come up this all way. All the beers down there. Is it? Yeah. To put up beer on table. I didn't know you were coming, so I've done three of each. 
Fucking hell! Felt out, felt out drained. I didn't even come, so I've just done three hours of everything. But they've all got, um, what's on top of them? Yeah, right. As long as you save me a kernel uh, and a cloud, uh, cloud water, especially. Not really, like, what you put on, a ne the name on top of them? Yeah. Right on. He's a good lad. So that's like, oh, Stu! Stu! Can't hear me, can he? It's got bits of stone chip paint on the uh, rust spots. Hold on. I'm leaving it here tonight. Okay. It looks a lot cleaner and brighter, doesn't it? Awesome. It's really brought it up. Absolutely. Trouble is, we've started to make a bit of a mess of the beer garden now, so we're going to have to tidy that up as well. Right, let's go and have a look what we've got. Was surprise, Hello. surprise, <laughs> friggin' line cleaning day. Christ Almighty. Hey. You got enough to drink there, Sambo? Yeah, doing a rest of it for me. I reckon you've got a problem, mate. Yeah, I probably have, mate. Yeah, you have. That's I'm drinking right, out yeah. for that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! Shit. That, folks, oh. is how you line clean properly. <laughs> that does look quite impressive, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, well, yeah. To be fair, that's. Right. that's I'm, ashamed. I'm ashamed I've set up a tab upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> And also that, that isn't even all the bits because there was three of them that was empty. I need to get a thumbnail with this. This is the best thing that's happened on the vlog today. I've actually got a thumbnail for you. Have you? I've done that panoramic thing again. Oh, I don't know if that'll work. Did it work last time? Yeah. Well, send me that then. We'll use that as a thumbnail. Yeah, it crash over. Let's get rolling. It's more coconut here. Yeah. That's, yeah, there's more coconut in here. Mm -hmm. It's like the same batch. Well, that's, that's the one I've gone for, cloud water and a scrumpy so far. Well, I've not tried this salty kiss yet. Oh. <laughs> and on that note... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Stu, I've just walked right into your fart cloud over here, buddy. It's awful. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got tons of beers to try, and uh, poor old Jack the lad, he's in the brewery painting the walls. Bless him. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to sign off. No, it's the bits that uh, I've, you know, the new pie I've put oh, right. in the corner. So, uh, yeah, we're going to sign off anyway. We'll see you on tomorrow's vlog, provided I manage to make it to work. We'll see you then. Chance! You ready for home, buddy? You come to pick me up, dude? Yep. Right, let's go. You know what you need to say, Harry? Drive. Drive. <laughs> Drive. Drive. <laughs>